This is Two Young Golf Pros. All right. So what is this about? Well, you called us. Yeah. Uh, you've been, I think we've, we've received 10 letters and 16 emails uh, yeah. over the past two months just asking you to, to be on our show, right? From you uh, to come on. Yeah. Hold on. Yes, that is that is what I've been doing. I've been trying to reach out to you guys, but uh, I wanted to be on the podcast, but again, what is this? Like, what is this podcast? Yeah. Uh, well, again, that, you know, the, I, I love how bold you are to ask. Um, and that's, mm. it's cute that you want to, that it's you're childlike, curious. you know, it's <laughs> yeah. adorable. Um, but you know, we finally got around to, we honestly, it's, it's been really hard. We've had so much mail to comb through. Um, and honestly, yours were in the, the spam folder. I don't know how we missed it. S- stupid um, mistake. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to have well, to, you know, my email is spam at gmail.com. Uh, right? <laughs> that's, that explains Wait, it. Wait, that's funny. Because um, yeah, I mean, I see how that's like you know kind of an ironic thing to have happened, but yes. Have you ever had that issue before? Do you end up in a lot of spam? Uh, folks? Yeah, pretty much every everywhere I go, every job I've ever applied. For, <laughs> I've never had anybody <laughs> respond to anything. <laughs> pretty much, email. yeah, no one has ever responded. So I, I typically have to do things like send several letters or phone calls, yeah. text messages until finally someone responds. But usually, you know, you know, my my actual address is one two three four spam drive. Uh, so that's a, that's another issue. Um, that's crazy, dude. So email, actual snail mail, text messaging. Uh, my name is actually spam. <laughs> <laughs> Last name so, risk. <laughs> so it's it's actually a really inconvenient and frustrating uh, thing. But you know we're here, guys. We're right. here. We're, we're finally in this place. So we are. Let's here. just em- embrace the fact that. I've made it, and um, again, I still don't know what this podcast is. Uh, well, don't worry. We're going to let you know by yeah. the end of it oh. for sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. And of course, uh, yes, this is Mr. Spam here with us. Uh, no, um, th- there's a third voice here on these airwaves uh, that you uh, out there in podcast land uh, may not be familiar with. Um, we are here with our great friend, Ian. Hey, Ian, what's up? Hi. Hey. So, not only is he a great friend, he has a hilarious podcast himself. Indeed he does. Mark. Backyard Time Machine. Ian, when I first listened to this podcast, I thought it was a great idea, a great concept. Um, they go back in time, get characters from out of time, and uh, they talk to them, interview them, have general chaos. So Yeah, it's pretty much... It sounds like it would be based in, you know, the idea was that, like, we would go, we have a time machine that one of us goes into, and then we're transformed into someone from history that we then talk to for about 15 minutes. And while that sounds like, oh, maybe they're historians, they'd be talking to, like, Abraham Lincoln or uh, someone important. No, that's not what we do. We talk to people like Harambe <laughs> or a bidet. Um, those are just some of the... Uh, real quick, can we just have a moment of silence for Harambe? Okay, thank you. Yeah. So uh, okay. Thank so you. why don't you guys? Uh, you know, so I know Ian, that this podcast quick, quick, that you guys question, have been doing is quick. Question here. Uh, okay, it you didn't ask it. That wasn't quick. <laughs> took quite well, a no, bit I of time. did ask it. It was that quick. You didn't hear it. Oh, I'm sorry. I, can you say it one more time? What do you think about that? Okay, no, that's a really good point. I don't feel comfortable answering that until um, until after we're done recording. I think that that's a little bit too personal, and my doctor has explicitly told me not to <laughs> mm. share that with anybody except for him and him alone. Um, Wait, but... We have to watch out for HIPAA violations and, and stuff. Well, yeah, thank I you, thought, Mark. Thank you. I thought Mark was your doctor, Ian. Uh, that's also a HIPAA violation right there, actually. Oh, <laughs> you're going gr- to be oh getting quite okay. the fine. Yeah, well, we should cut that um, out, shouldn't we? Yeah. 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 I don't well, want well, to you probably me. should, but you know, if you cut that out, cut this part out, too. Yeah, and actually, yeah, I, I need to cut me. something out of Ian after this as well. <laughs> yeah, so. so, yeah, it's pretty clear Mark is my 
primary care physician and my uh yeah anyways i'm getting circumcised <laughs> <laughs> He wanted to be sure before he went through with it, and that's why he's doing it at this point in life. And I think it's a good decision. I'm so yeah. – that's amazing that you um, that you actually got a spot with Mark. I mean, Mark is snipping those things <laughs> all day. Uh, yeah, I got a couple patients, you know, a day. It's I, I'm it's surprised crazy. you got a spot. I've been trying to get in with him for years. He keeps and, telling me he's busy. Well, people like how I do it too. I do this really <laughs> new kind of experimental technique. I put a blindfold on. Um, and then I just go for it, you know? So it, yeah, it's really a shot in the dark, but it's, uh, sometimes when it works out, it's, it's a thrill. So you ever killed me? Yeah. Anyone? How many have worked out for you? Um, about two out of 5,000. <laughs> okay. Yep. So I'll, I'll be the lucky number three then. Am I right? <laughs> exactly. Lucky yeah. number three. Mm. Um, <laughs> that's pretty crazy. No refunds. Um, real quick, Ian, uh, we're going to just continue to. I want to continue to plug uh, your podcast because uh, we want people. Have to... you heard about my other podcast? Uh, you have another one? Yeah, it's um, it's one I record by myself, uh, for myself, with myself. Um, Tell us more. And, and so basically, it's it's no one else can hear it or listen to it. It's not published. Uh, it's all <laughs> private. Um, it's just personal recordings. Wow. What's the name of it? Are, it's called Podcast. Wow. Mm-hmm. I don't know how you snag that name. Yeah. That's, how did you get that's that? That's good. Cool. It's pretty original. Yeah. Uh, but I, uh, yeah, I get to just share all of the things that I've ever wanted to share. Um, act like anyone I've ever wanted to act like, and um, uh, yeah, just pretty much live my fantasy. Uh, by myself each podcast is about four hours long um and i do it in the <laughs> middle of the night when my family's uh sleeping i try <laughs> i try really hard to do it during the day when you know my wife needs me the most uh but you know we've run into some we've run into some issues uh anyways we're, we're getting a little <laughs> sidetracked um so this podcast what what is it guys yeah, uh, we'll, we will definitely fill you in. Yeah. We're definitely going to tell you before we quit recording. Yeah, and if you haven't figured it out by now, honestly, it, you might not ever figure it out. So, Okay. But we do tell you. No, it's... We do, okay. tell, you we do tell you. It's tell you. There's some different twists in the road, but you'll we'll hmm. get it there. Yeah. Okay. What... Okay. Okay. Um, okay. 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 <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Sounds good, guys. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Um, so Mark, will you talk to Ian about your recent fascination with, uh, John Wilkes Booth? Uh, yeah. I mean, he's been a hero. <laughs> Jeez. No, actually he's the, he's the guy in that, uh, opera house, right? With Lincoln. So yeah, no, not a fan. Um, my fascination is actually kind of, a of, a, a, a vitriol, of hatred for the man. Oh. Um, despise him on every ounce of my being. Now, I do – I forgot to bring this up earlier. I'm sorry, Cody. Would you tell Ian a little bit about how you thought um, Pharaoh, like Ramses, was really cool, a cool guy, and how he – you kind of shape your values after him? Uh, <laughs> hmm. um, no, these things are not correct. Um these things are very not correct. Um, and I honestly, I don't even know why you would say that, uh, because that is, uh, false. Um, Cody, you told me the other day that you loved Pharaoh, that you have a tattoo of Pharaoh in between your butt cheeks. You said that to me the other day. You showed me the other day. Right. So Uh, why are you, why are you backtracking right now? uh, Mark just asked you point blank. You showed me point blank. (laughs) So I don't understand why you're not talking about it. Um, are you afraid? Are you chicken? Yeah. Are you scared? <laughs> why don't you tell us how you really feel? Cody? I no, this is not true. Um, I do not have a tattoo anywhere near my bottom, um, nor could not I. Near your bottom, it's literally in your bottom. Yeah, it's well, not near. Wouldn't, it. Wait, wouldn't that also count as near? No, no, nope. nope. it is in. Yeah, it is 100 percent within. It, it's not near. Yeah. 
Near it implies that it's something outside and close to, not inside and close to. Like my heart is not near my lungs. My heart and my lungs are the same thing, right? Uh, um, yeah, but and, if my lungs and, were outside of my body, my lungs would be near my see, body. And as a doctor, I can verify that Ian is correct there. His his heart and lungs are actually it's a it's a major <laughs> Dude, dis- I disformity. Can, I think it's illegal to pretend to be a doctor. <laughs> Uh, well, <laughs> he just said listen, he's a doctor, and he's not. As a doctor. So I'm going to go ahead and call 911 here and report <laughs> this. Hey, Ian, by the way, you were telling us how you supported the Great Depression. <laughs> the Great Depression? Yeah, go, go ahead and talk about that. We wanted to have you on and have you explain. Like, yeah, so um, I'm completely ignorant to history and really even what uh, the Great Depression is, but it sounds like a really fun thing. Uh, so I support it 100%. See, that makes sense. He thought it was fun because he was laughing at all the, oh. the misfortune. Yeah, because honestly, depression thing that a lot of people deal with, myself included, I think is hilarious. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> My great-grandfather was killed in the Great Depression. Really? Was it a war? I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah. believe... No, it, it was actually nothing to do with the Great Depression. Is old age. Wait, the Great Depression is like the area on your bottom that <laughs> where you get that's tattoos. Right. Yeah, is that what we're talking about? Where you get tattoos? That's what I thought. I mean, th- those are fun. I love them. Mm. Guys, um, there's an issue with reverence here towards. <laughs> um, now, speaking of reverence, uh, you, Cody, you have told me numerous times that you steal from reverends weekly mm. and why is that why specifically the reverends like, uh they, they're doing you uh, know uh, their best they're doing <laughs> they're doing the best they're doing their best they're doing their best with uh no actually I, no that's not you misheard actually you misheard what you actually had heard um was um an email that Ian actually sent us. I heard I, an email. Uh, just bear with me here. Okay. Bear with me here. <laughs> you heard an email from him uh, where he was talking about how he spends his weekends um, breaking criminals out of prison. So Ian, why don't you go ahead and talk about talk about that here on the on the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like you're you're what you're saying is a little bit misleading, Cody, because uh, it sounds like you're talking about regular criminals that I'm breaking out of prison, um, but I'm actually breaking out uh, dead criminals out of prison <laughs> for proper burials, right? Yes, I, I'm actually a uh, a grave robber. Uh, oh, so, wow! Um, I so again a little misleading. Uh, but yeah, I can tell you about that. So I really like um, finding. Uh, ex serial killers that are dead and uh finding their graves and digging up their body and using their bones and laying them out in uh you know the sort of in a star shape like uh you know what are they called a seance uh, oh, yeah pentagram yep. yeah yeah and then summoning you know just some of some of their um demon personality some of their like quirks the little things that you know made them different uh it's a fun and family I, like, activity you know, incorporating that in my own it's life. It's a great thing to do to take your kids. Yeah, a great kid. You're actually kids. That's awesome. Can you have Yeah, no, my kids, my kids are involved in it every single time. That's great. Um you have them color on this on the bones. <laughs> yeah, it's really great. And then we'll return it and um anyway, so but yeah, so I know that, you know, we kind of have kind of bounced a little bit here and there or everywhere when, you know, to one area of topic in conversation to another area of topic in conversation to, you know, another corner of the room with another sort of thing that we wanted to talk about and then kind of bounced around to another thing and then we sort of shifted over to a different topic altogether and then had a little bit of a separate conversation and then shifted back over to what we were originally talking about and then kind of went over to a different part of the conversation that was a new topic. Uh, But I wanted to get back to, um, like, what this this podcast... uh, Can you guys... You know, br- br- you know, wrap that, yeah. wrap that in a nice little bow for me, and tell me, um, sure, because I'm still a little bit lost. What what is this podcast? Again? No, yeah, that makes sense. I I completely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, basically, I mean, and Cody, you can fill in any gaps I may miss, but it, it, it's uh the podcast. We kind of just lay it out there for you. <laughs> and uh, 
we just, you know, we put, we're very bold. Like, we're not going to hide anything. We just put it all out there. <laughs> and okay, yeah. uh, it, it's just for discussion. And then people come away with that just, you know, that really great understanding of the topics. Uh-huh. <laughs> and that's it. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. exactly it. Um, and, you know, we'll, we'll dive into details later before yeah. the show's over. We'll definitely let you know. So I'm okay. sure that answers your question pretty fully. No, it really doesn't, but I think yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll we're, wait, we're I'll wait super for... Gra- I we're couldn't super be more cool. thorough. We're right. glad, yeah, I, we were really glad to be able to tell you what it is. Thanks for asking. Thank you yeah. for inquiring, and we definitely told you, and we're glad that we did. Um, and it's because of people like him who aren't afraid to ask that we get to Mark, say, are you doing you know, the... Are you so, doing yes, a circumcision just, just right going, now on the show? Going for it right now. Oh. Uh, uh, let's see here. All right. Can't <laughs> see. Got the blindfold on. All right. Oh, my gosh. Ian? 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 Ian, are you there? Ian, hey, uh, wake up. This <laughs> is funny. Hey, dude. Wait. Uh, um, I, I, got some, I got something to say, Cody. I'm not actually a doctor. Well, I knew that. <laughs> Well, I knew you weren't a doctor. And okay, well, here let's let's get Ian some help. Yeah, we'll, just yeah. Put a band aid on that, and we're good. Yeah, we'll get him some help. All right, Ian. Thanks for being on the show. Thanks, for man. Uh, uh, good luck with your uh, uh, with your your bottom there. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll like with we'll, your bottom half. We'll check in with him. Yeah. Uh, down the road. Um. Anyway. Um. Yeah, dude. I'm pretty sure that, like I said a minute ago. I'm pretty sure it's illegal to impersonate a doctor. I, do, I think it's illegal to impersonate. Here and no. you did surgery on someone while well, we were recording. That was just as a joke, though. But <laughs> it is illegal to impersonate a cop. I do know that. Yeah, I don't well, know. If uh, it's, it's funny illegal. you say that because I'm a cop. That's fake. <laughs> uh, well, no, I have a I have my badge right here. Let me see it. Let me find it. Where it's over here somewhere. Let me see it. Is. That is. is a sticky note. <laughs> but on the sticky note, it says, I am a cop. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that counts. But no, it, I don't think it's legal to impersonate a doctor as long as you're not like maybe per- performing, performing surgery, surgery which somebody. I just did. But And you're also wearing scrubs. Um, uh, I don't yeah. know where you got them. The, just, you know, you can get them. King, uh, Burger yeah, King. <laughs> Burger King? Yeah. What? Yeah. Wait. Please explain. Uh, it's like this new special. You order a cheeseburger and they give you the scrubs. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so, anyway, yeah, we'll go ahead and uh, move on to something yeah, of let's, greater importance. We got a, it's starting to smell kind of weird here with what's going on with Ian. So, yeah. I'll just. Um, yeah, well, he should be okay. He'll be fine. He's, he, he was great. No, yeah. And it, by the way, his podcast uh, is very yes. real. We're not joking when we say that this podcast is um, the greatest podcast on Apple Podcasts. Yeah, it is uh, the greatest or second greatest, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> maybe one of the two. First, second, whatever. <laughs> Backyard Time Machine, um, please go give them a sub, listen to them, become a fan. All those things would be very great. They would, they would be very thankful. It, yeah, big fan. It's hilarious. Yes. Okay, so I do have something in the news that I would love to talk about. What do we got? What's happening in the world today, Mark? So I don't know if you've heard about this kind of situation before, um, but it's a pretty cool one. So uh, you know the thing where people like start with some really small object and then they trade, keep trading up and up and up and they work themselves up to something? So this happened uh-huh. recently, two days ago. A TikTok creator allegedly traded a bobby pin all the way up to a mobile cabin. Oh my gosh. So basically got a house for a bobby pin. So, okay, let's see. I'm going to give you I'm going to give you an object and then I'm just coming up with this on top of my head. Okay. <laughs> on top of my head. Um, <laughs> That's where a hat would go. Yeah, it is where a hat would go. Yeah. So, if I were to give you a hat, a baseball cap, okay? Um, and you have six trades. Let's see where you wh- you give me the nicest thing you think you can get to and then we'll switch it. You give me an object and six trades and we'll see who can get to the nicer thing. But we have to like honestly Grade each other's stuff. We can't say okay. like you can't trade that hat and go for like a car, you know. So let's see who can get to the nicest thing. So what kind of hat is it? Is it just a generic? It's just a Pittsburgh Pirates baseball cap. Pittsburgh. Okay. Okay. Um, Most random team. I, I could would, think okay. Of. So yeah. Uh, didn't they win a title recently? 
or did I don't they, know. They got a pretty, did, were they the last place in the league? Was that, <laughs> I'm getting it mixed up. I don't know, man. I haven't watched baseball in 12 years. <laughs> Um, okay, so I would trade the hat for a jacket. So someone, mm. you know. What kind of jacket? Um, someone's leather jacket in their closet. Okay. Like, an, like it doesn't fit them anymore. They yeah. really want a hat. Maybe I'm, you could, I'm you could swing that. Yeah. So that's, does that that's sound right. reasonable? Like, yeah. hey, man, you, you want this. You love the pirates. Right. It has to be and, someone who loves the pirates. Yeah. And you've got this old ratty leather jacket that you don't yeah. wear. And you think it's worthless? Turns out it's very worth full. Okay, that's one, one trade. So now I have a leather jacket that's worth a thousand dollars. Uh, no, no, no. It's going to be worth like fifty you, bucks. You don't most. accept? Okay, well, I thought maybe it'd be vintage, but and you know, like a, a commodity or so to speak. Um, that's not the right word, is it? Maybe I don't know. Well, okay. Let's say that. Let's say we'll do fifty dollars. Um. And okay, leather jacket. What's next? A pair of Jordans. Wow. Okay. How about that? And they're the real good ones. They're like his rookie year Jordan. I don't even know if that. Dude, you know I. Oh my gosh! I just saw this. Uh, what you those see? those rookie year those Air Jordan? I don't, I don't know if I can find the article, but the Air Jordan ones. Uh, they were signed by Michael. They are selling for eighty thousand dollars, and that's the exact pair that I traded this jacket for. Okay, so uh, that's it's trade a number stretch. two. Yeah, well, it's a guy who's like, here's some old shoes in my closet, but I'm really cold. Can I have this jacket? Hmm. Okay. So here we go. Now I'm at eighty grand. Wow. I trade those Air Jordans for the keys to a house. That's trade number three. Little did you know that that house. Uh, was the former house of uh, recent Hall of Fame? Uh, what's what's it called? Candidate, not candidate, because uh, inductee, inductee, recent Hall of Fame inductee, Peyton Manning. Oh wow! His house valued at multiple millions. That's three trades, dude. I'm already at multiple millions. All right. So uh, from there, I mean, I. I trade the house for spaceship. <laughs> okay. Um, that's trade number four. Take the spaceship to the moon. No Mars, because I have more time. <laughs> it's a little bit further. That's like a couple days further than the moon. A couple days. Um, I meet some aliens. They trade me Mars wow. for the spaceship because Man. they want to go back to Earth. Um, so now I own Mars, and that's five. Um, and then uh, I... I meet another alien on the on the on the uh, the planet, <laughs> whatever it's called. Um, it's very cold on Mars. I don't, mm, I don't know if you've yeah. ever been. Yeah, I have a I have a home. There. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mars is very cold. Um, I didn't bring any headgear, mm. and I trade him the planet Mars for a nice black and gold, black and yellow. Baseball cap. Wow. Because you know what? It's all the same worth anyway, right? So yes, that's awesome, man. Yeah. So that's those are my six trades. Full circle. That's the right way to do a trade. A trade round robin, right? You you go all the yeah. way up and then you go back down. Consequently, I couldn't get back from Mars because I sold the spaceship. I end up dying. <laughs> yeah, honestly. <laughs> so it wasn't that great. Yeah. Uh, okay, guys. Bye. Well, that's it for today. We hope you enjoyed your time with us. Before you swipe away, remember to subscribe here to the podcast so you don't miss an episode. Please consider leaving a review as well. You can follow us on Twitter at TYGP Show, or you can email us anytime at TYGP Show at gmail.com.